I did not even get two minutes into countering Stoker's claim that Arkanorton's appearance was due to Frolic Syndrome with my own theory that it's just a caricature based on the fact that his skeleton features an extended cranium and thin bones well, limbs, I should say. When he then insulted me for wearing glasses. He had insulted me for being a redhead, insulted me for having heterochromia, and now he had insulted me for wearing glasses. I never had a more immature opponent in a debate. Perhaps that is why I don't do debates that often, because I fear meeting someone as immature as him. And yet I did. Again, Stoker was reprimanded. And, well, what could be said? He just refused to listen. Yes, sir, he refused to listen every time he was reprimanded. We carried on, and he talked about how Arca Norton's immediate successor was Tutankhamun, which I then had to correct him by stating that Arca Norton's immediate successor was Smen Kaker, either his son or his brother. And of course that introduced a whole new Explosion of obscenities from Stoker. It would seem that Stoker had not kept up on well anything when it came to ancient Egyptian history. Children Common was once believed to have been Arkanorton's immediate successor, but not anymore. We now know that Smen Kaker was followed by a female pharaoh whose name escapes me, but I know it was not Hatshepsut, nor Cleopatra because she was Greek, and the Greek dynasties came long after the 18th dynasty. And then would you believe it, Stoker contradicted himself by saying Horemheb was Arkanaughton's immediate successor. It was unbelievable. Everyone stood there. Well, I was standing. The referee, we'll call him, was standing in disbelief. The audience was sitting in disbelief. Stoker wasn't just outdated. He was contradictory.
To say Horam Heb had ever been believed to be Akhenaten's immediate successor would be very untrue. In fact, when Akhenaten uh, straight through to I was that's not grammatically correct. Scratch that. When Akhenaten straight through to I were no, that's better. Stricken from the lists of kings, Horam Heb was named as Amenhotep III's immediate successor. We now know that Horam Heb had been Tutankhamun's heir in the event Tutankhamun died without issue, which he did. But when he did die, Horam Heb had been out on campaign in Asia, leaving I to take the throne by marrying Akhenaten's daughter by his wife Nefertiti, who was also Children Commons' paternal half sister and maternal cousin. Her name was Anxanaman. And she did not want to mix blood with someone who had been born a commoner. I might have been her grandfather, so... Well, if she had been consort to her brother and cousin, and even to her father before that, 